Hey, welcome back. My name is Spencer and today we are looking at Street Cleaner. This is a retro 2D platformer by the studio Creaky Lantern Games. They've made another game called Aeternum, but that's a bullet hell game, so I'll steer clear. Yeah, it's not my type of game. Way too much dodging. This is too much for me. Before we get into this, please make sure you like this video if you enjoy it. Leave a comment about what you think and subscribe if you like this kind of content. On to the game. Right off the bat, the game throws you into things. A is to jump, X is to swing your katana, and Y is to shoot. Off you go. Yeah, the game doesn't give you any idea what you're doing or why. According to the Steam page, you're in San Diego to take out outlaw scum. Okay. I'm a guy with a cool biker helmet and a katana. I don't need any more context than that. I'm playing this game with a controller, but you can play with a keyboard and mouse, although I haven't tried it. You do have another attack that you can do, which is this Goomba Stomp kind of thing. I found that to be unreliable, though. Oftentimes, I'm certain I'm pressing down and X at the same time, only to get hit and die. Over. And over. And over again, time after time. I just could not nail it. Yeah, this can be frustrating, but overall I'm pleased with the controls of this game, even though I'm pretty bad at the platforming parts, which I've never been good at. Now, some people might find this game kind of ugly, there are more modern pixel games that have more detail than this, but I like it. It feels older than it actually is, which I think is the point. I'm not sure what console this is trying to emulate, but probably the NES. Quick story time, I never had an NES or an SNES, or really any retro consoles. I didn't start gaming until about 1996 or 97 when I was 5 or 6 years old. At the time, I had an N64, a PlayStation, and a year or two later, a Game Boy Color. I can't remember if I ever had the original Game Boy? Maybe. Oh, and I did play some arcade cabinets, like how they used to have in Lasertron or bowling alleys. Maybe they still do. Leave a comment below if you've played on a game cabinet recently, but first, finish the video, then go comment. Anyway. This game feels like something straight out of the 80s. Now, if you grew up during this time and played games like this, you might laugh at me, but this game is difficult, and I'm playing on normal mode. The difficulty kind of reminds me of Dark Souls, to use a modern example. And what do I mean by that? I mean, you have to be slow and considered and be prepared to die a lot. Learn the level and then be able to play it perfectly to progress. I mean, not perfectly, you can take a hit or two, but you know what I mean. Now, I know why old arcade games did this, it was to eat up as many quarters as the machine could and keep people coming back. It feels very archaic here, though. The game is pretty good about giving you checkpoints, so I can't complain about that, but I did die a lot, and that was frustrating. By the way, the enemies come back almost immediately in this game. As soon as you move so that the enemy you just killed is off screen, they come back to life. Backtracking is a bad idea. I made the mistake here when I shot this guy, killed the rat, but missed the jump. So I went back thinking I could make the jump in safety. Nope, he was waiting for me. The boss battles were pretty interesting, I will say that. Each of these I've fought has felt different, and a few of them had more than one phase to them. Those could be hard to figure out, but once I did, I was able to get by. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. One last thing though, I do like the music. It's pretty simplistic in fitting with the theme, but it sounds nice. I'll let you have a listen. Bye.